positive outlook to life because life has a way of giving us lemons when we ask for is grapes but therefore when when life gives you lemons you have a positive outlook to life hope also refers to optimism hallelujah you are an enthusiasm about tomorrow because we are hopeful in the Lord Jesus Christ glory be to God therefore in hope you have confidence you have the assurance that Jesus is on your side hallelujah glory be to God this morning therefore it is very critical for the believer this morning to have hope in the Lord Jesus Christ it is critical in Jesus mighty name hallelujah we live in a world where everything around wants to communicate hopelessness that's the time that we are living in now everything that we see around us it is communicating to the believer hopelessness but we know we know our god the bible says those who know their god in the book of daniel they shall be strong is there any strong warriors this morning those only those who know they are god they shall be strong and do great exploits hallelujah i pray that the lord will strengthen you this morning that the strength of heaven will come upon you and your family in the name of jesus i break every spirit of hope hopelessness upon your life today i declare hope i declare positivity in your life in jesus mighty name hallelujah therefore hope is so important in this life and i want us to look in the bible in the book of job 14 verse 14 job 14 verse 14 uh, cabello chiti says good wonderful morning family welcome there cabello the lord bless you our beloved sister we also have a jabu kamkricha mr q watching together with his wife this morning sandra toleza good morning to you guys uh, out in centurion this morning but if somebody can just help me drop that scripture now in the comment section job 14 verse 14 hope is important in life we are sustained by hope we are sustained by faith in our lord jesus christ hallelujah therefore when people give up in this life when people walk away from faith in jesus christ they they go down in life hallelujah i want to read this scripture for us here today uh, Job 14 verse 14 from the New Living Translation. Can the dead live again? If so, this would give me hope through all my years of struggle. And I would eagerly await uh, 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 the release of death. But listen to this again. Can the dead live again? No. If so, this would give me hope through all my years of struggle hallelujah glory be to god therefore people of god hope is important in this life while we are still in the land of the living we ought to have hope because we know it once we go to be with the lord that there is no we cannot be hopeful then because we already made it to heaven but in this life while you still have breath in your lungs you are hopeful about tomorrow that situation that you are going through does not have the best of you it does not push your back against the wall but you have hope in jesus this morning hallelujah therefore don't go down this morning but rise up mighty man and mighty woman of god in hope in faith in jesus christ glory be to god this morning i want to say this morning the loss of hope this morning if we lose hope that can equal to the loss of life itself if we lose hope it is almost as good as losing life itself no matter how hard pressing the situation is my brother my sister we are hopeful in the lord now to hope in god is to be planted like a tree to be hopeful in god can i repeat that for somebody this morning to to be hopeful in the lord is to is to be is like a tree that is planted this morning and i want somebody to just drop that scripture for me jeremiah chapter 17 verse 7 to 8 jeremiah 17 verse 7 to 8 
Hallelujah. I will continue while you are dropping that scripture for me. Hope in God is key to stability and immovability in God. When we are anchored in God, when we are rooted in God, we can never be moved by anything. We can never be shaken by anything. But when we have hope in God, that is the key to stability in life. The key to immovability in Jesus mighty name. It doesn't matter your position today. It doesn't matter where you find yourself this morning. Whether you are wealthy, whether you are poor, whether your health is good, whether you are sick, you ought to be hopeful in the Lord in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Jeremiah 17, 7. But blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. They will be like a tree planted by, by the water that sends out its root by, by the stream. Isn't that powerful? Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose hope, whose confidence is in the Lord. The Bible says they will be like a tree planted. Therefore, that is the key this morning to hope. You are like a tree planted planted when your hope is in the Lord. I love that. Glory be to God. Therefore, I believe God is speaking to somebody here today. Don't lose hope in the Lord. Don't lose faith in the Lord this morning. We are talking about the blessedness of hopefulness in this life in Jesus mighty name. Hope, hope in God is a doorway. Listen to this now. Hope in the Lord is a doorway to settlement and establishment in life. Hallelujah. Just having hope, being content in this life, it is a doorway to settlement and establishment in this life. Uh, Cabello says the following, hopelessness is a way of the enemy to distract us from experiencing the presence of God. Now, Cabello, that is very powerful right there. That is very powerful that what you're sharing. And in that, that sounds just like the enemy. He brings discouragement. He brings hopelessness in our lives. But we know who our God is this morning. We don't just pray to any God. We don't just serve any God. But we serve the God who died one Friday. But rose early Sunday morning with all power. Therefore we are hopeful this morning. That God will resurrect every dashed hope. Every dashed dream that you ever had. God will resurrect it in the name of Jesus. Keep on hoping, keep on trusting, keep on having faith in the Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I feel it on a Friday morning that God is about to lift up somebody's head this morning. The Bible said, He's your glory, the lifter of your head. May, may, may the word of the Lord come to pass into your life this morning. May He lift up your head this morning. May He be your glory, Jesus Christ. The Bible says, Christ in me, the hope of glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Therefore, we, we mentioned the point that hope in God is a doorway to settlement and establishment in this life. We are content whether things are good or not. We have hope for tomorrow. We know our God is for us. He's not against us. Glory be to God. Now, to hope in God, we said it is to be planted and rooted by the river. According to Jeremiah 17 verse 8, hope in God equals connection, hallelujah, to unending refreshing. Now, this, this blessed me. When I, when, I, when, I, when I was preparing for this message this morning and I began to get the understanding and the revelation of a tree that is planted, hallelujah, you constantly get the refreshing of the waters of the rivers when you are planted, hallelujah, by the river. Therefore, that's what hope is like to the believer this morning. When you are hopeful, God irrigates you. Oh, hallelujah. God refreshes you every morning by the stream. Oh, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Jabulile says, keep my faith. I'm keeping my faith on the Lord. That is powerful. Refilwe Poshia, it's good to see you. She says, amen. 
man. There is constant supply and provision of water when you are planted by the stream. You have hope for tomorrow that God will supply all of your needs for tomorrow. You have hope that according to his riches in glory, he will supply all of your needs in the name of Jesus. I might not have the money today, but God will give it to me tomorrow. I might not have food on my table this morning, but God is still Jehovah Jireh, my provider in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. If he can feed the 5,000 men, not counting the women and the children, he can multiply that which you have on your table this morning. He is a supernatural God. He is the God of abundance. He is the God that can do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that you can ask or think this morning. In Jesus' mighty name, may the Lord, may the Lord prosper you. May the Lord bless you this morning. May you never give up this morning. May you know that God is God. May you know that he's the king of kings. May you know that he's the Lord above all gods. This morning in the name of Jesus, I bless you this morning. I bless you. Keep on hoping. Keep on trusting in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Glory be to God this morning. Hallelujah. I feel it in the name of Jesus. I feel it in the name of Jesus. Keep on hoping. Keep on trusting in the Lord. Now we are still talking about that, that example of being planted. The example of being planted this morning. That we get refreshed when we are planted. Glory be to God. Pastor Pumlani, I see you this morning, men of God, out in Cape Town. The Lord bless you. Glory be to God. Now we talked about the constant supply being irrigated, being refreshed when you are planted. You have hope that God will look after you in Jesus' mighty name. And I also want to bring this point in this morning that to hope in God is to be free from the heat of life. Glory be to God. Jeremiah 17, 18. Jeremiah 17, 18. And somebody, if you can help me this morning, drop the scripture, Malachi chapter 4, verse 1 to 2. Malachi chapter 4 verse 1 to 2. Just drop that scripture for, for me there, Unati or Sandra. I want to read that scripture for the people of God. To hope in God is to be free from the heat of life. If, if God is watering you, life will not get the, the best of you. The heat of life will not get the best of you because you are constantly refreshed in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, Tabiso Ntuli, good morning. Welcome. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 17. That's verse 8, uh, Unati. Verse 8, not verse 18. It's the previous scripture we've read. Jeremiah 17, verse 8. And I also want you to drop for me Malachi chapter 4, verse 1 to 2. Malachi chapter 4, verse 1 to 2. Manny, it's good to see you. Anna, it's good to see you. Out in Albertin, the south of Johannesburg this morning. Welcome, 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 welcome. Therefore, a, a hope in God delivers people from unnecessary stress. Can I repeat that for the believer this morning? When, we, when our hope is in God, God delivers us from unnecessary stress and pressure in this life. Hallelujah. Malachi chapter 4 verse 1. Let's go. It says, surely the day is coming. It will burn like a furnace. All the arrogant and every evildoer will be, uh, uh, will be stubble. And the day that is coming will set them on fire, says the Lord Almighty. But I want you to see now, we're talking about fire. But when we have hope in God, when we don't lose our faith in God, we will never experience the heat of this life. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Therefore, when we have hope in God, it delivers us from unnecessary stress. Thank you, Jesus. As a believer, you ought not to be stressing. You ought not to be anxious. You ought not to be oppressed and depressed this morning because you are hopeful in the Lord. To hope in God is to exist with color in life. Oh, hallelujah. I felt that one. To hope in God is to exist with color in this life. You see the trees behind me? 
The sun is starting to shine right now. Even upon those leaves right now, they are looking bright and colorful. That speaks of hope. The, 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 the trees are getting green now. It's springtime. We have hope that seasons change. We have hope that our life will be filled with color in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I speak that over your life this morning. A change of season. Hope in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Don't lose your color. Don't lose your color this morning. Don't lose your hope in the Lord. Hope in God delivers us from the loss of color, from the loss of honor. Hallelujah. Irrespective of seasonal changes. Hallelujah. In every season, our leaves shall be green. We shall bear fruit in every season in Jesus name. Why? Our God refreshes us. Our God irrigates us in Jesus name. Therefore, don't lose your color. Don't lose your freshness this morning. Hope in the Lord in Jesus mighty name. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Therefore, this morning, the way of hopefulness is the way of blessedness. The way of hopefulness is the way of blessedness. Glory be to God. Now, thank you for that comment. Uh, uh, Sandra says, I exist with color in this life because I have hope in the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Frank says, Amen. Maloba says, Hope makes you to stay positive in life. Glory be to God. Now, I want us to get into a few scriptures this morning. Let's take it from the word of God. Let's take it from scripture in Jesus' mighty name. Romans chapter 12, verse 12. The Bible says, Hope takes us on a journey towards confidence and gives us a reason to come before the Lord. Glory be to God. Now, the Bible says now rejoice in hope. Romans 12, 12. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in tribulation. Be constant in prayer. But we rejoice in hope. Whether that situation is staring you in the eye this morning, you rejoice in hope. I have hope for tomorrow. I am patient in tribulation. But here's the key this morning. Here's the shout for the believer this morning. Be constant in prayer. Because in prayer, hallelujah, we understand what faith is. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things unseen. In prayer, we are rejuvenated. In prayer, we are, we are refreshed. In prayer, our hope in God is rekindled. Be constant in prayer. According to Romans 12, verse 12. I see Sandra dropped it now from a different version of the Bible. Be joyful. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in affliction. Faithful in prayer. Faithful in prayer. In Jesus' mighty name. Now listen, this says patience in tribulation. And be consistent in prayer. Is there any prayer warriors watching this morning? Saying, Pastor, I am so fired up this morning. I, I was looking at my situation. I almost wanted to give up. I almost didn't want to pray this morning. I almost didn't just want to go to church this coming Sunday. But you have just rekindled the fire. I am going to pray right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I will lift up my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus this morning. Come on, keep on praying, prayer warriors. Don't, don't, don't quit on Jesus. Keep on praying. Be vigilant, be sober in prayer. You are a watchman this morning. Come on, keep on praying. The Bible says, according to Colossians chapter 4 verse 2, be devoted to prayer. Hallelujah, 1 Thessalonians 5, 17. Pray without ceasing this morning. Why? We have hope in the Lord. We have hope in Jesus' name. <laughs> Hallelujah. I feel it this morning. We are, not we are not quitters. 
We are not quitters. We are overcomers in Christ Jesus. We are overcomers in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. It might be a financial situation this morning, but we are overcoming in the name of Jesus this morning. It might be depression, anxiety. You are overcoming in the name of Jesus. Marital problems. You are overcoming in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Therefore, in all these things, we are more than conquerors. I feel it now. Glory be to God. Let's look at another scripture. Let's look at another scripture. I want you to encourage you this morning to stay with God, to walk with God. There is a song that's called In the Garden. That is a powerful hymn, a powerful old song. It's called In the Garden. You can go and Google the lyrics to that song, In the Garden. The, that, that, that song goes something like this. He walks with me. He talks with me and he tells me that I am his own hallelujah glory be to Jesus therefore in that hopeless uh, uh, situation God walks with you God talks with you God tells you that you are his own this morning in the name of Jesus Christ oh hallelujah glory be to God I feel like church this morning I feel like church this morning in Jesus mighty name there is a fountain <laughs> filled with the blood oh, of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says sinners plunge into that flood and their guilty stains are removed from them. Oh, I feel like church this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Faith in God. Faith in God. Zephaniah. Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 17. Uh, Jabulila says, in prayer we find strength. In prayer we find strength. Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 17. The Bible says, the Lord your God in your midst. In your midst. The mighty one will save you. Oh, hallelujah. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quiet you, oh hallelujah, with his love. He will rejoice over you with singing. May the Lord this morning rejoice over you with gladness. Thank you, Jesus. May he quiet you with his love this morning. He will rejoice over you with singing. Glory be to God. That speaks of hope for tomorrow. The Lord will he will that means it's something that's going to happen he will rejoice over you with gladness he will quiet you with his love hallelujah glory be to jesus keep on hoping keep on hoping in the lord this morning in the name of jesus job chapter 13 and verse 15 job chapter 13 and verse 15 the bible says though he slay me though he slay me i will hope in him hallelujah yet i will argue my ways to his face Though he slay me, I will hope in him. Jabuli says, glory to God. I feel it now. Glory be to Jesus. Now I want to go to some New Testament scriptures. What I gave you was some Old Testament scriptures. I want to take you now to the New Testament scriptures this morning. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians... 1 Corinthians chapter 16 and verse 13. Be watchful. Be watchful. Stand firm in faith. Be watchful. Stand firm in faith. Cabello, I want to read your comment quickly. Cabello says, Prayer and worship are powerful weapons to destroy the ways of the enemy. Hallelujah. Sandra, thank you for dropping that scripture there. First Corinthians 16 verse 13. Be on your guard. Stand firm in faith. Be courageous. Be strong. We are hopeful, brothers and sisters. We are firm in our faith in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. 
I am so blessed by this word this morning in the name of Jesus. Because the fact is, my brothers and sisters, the enemy will bring anything or everything he has towards you and your family. That's what he will do. He's a liar. Jesus said he's the father of lies. And in him there is no truth whatsoever. But we stand firm in our faith. We are courageous. We are strong in the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Titus chapter 3. Titus chapter 3 verse 7. That being justified by his grace. We might become heirs. According to the hope of eternal life. We have hope of eternal life. Remember, brothers and sisters, Paul said the following. Heaven is our home. We are passers by here. Therefore, we must have hope of eternal life. Even though things are not going the way we want them to go in this life. Oh, hallelujah. You never thought that you would be sick in your body. You might be finding yourself in the hospital this morning. But I want you to know we have hope for eternal life. You've lost your job during COVID. Maybe, maybe you got divorced. We have hope for eternal life. All these things that we are going through in this life, they will pass. The Bible says, according to the book of Revelations, he shall wipe their tears away. That time is coming, brothers and sisters, where we will rejoice in heaven, where we will, we will be thankful to the Lord for eternal life because all of these things that we are going through in this earth in this world they shall come to an end and the lord shall wipe our tears away hope of eternal life hallelujah glory be to god glory be to god now i want to encourage you with this other scripture now the bible says i has not sinned no ear has heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. That is hope for tomorrow. No eye has seen, no ear has heard. Hallelujah. What God has prepared for those who love him. Hallelujah. Glory be to God this morning. Glory be to God this morning. I want you this morning. Before we get into a time of prayer, I want you this morning, if you are facing a hopeless situation, I want you to know that God is more powerful than that situation. This morning, in the name of Jesus Christ, you're facing a difficult situation, a hopeless situation. Lord, I don't know how I'm going to come out of this situation. I have no clue whatsoever. I want to pray with you. I want to pray with you this morning in the name of Jesus. If that's you, I want you to pray together with me. You're saying, man of God, I thank God for this word this morning. I thank God for this word this morning. I didn't know if I could carry on for another day. I wanted to give up. I wanted to walk away from faith in Jesus Christ. Lebradias. Makaturusi talabarias sataya. Come on, I want us to pray together this morning. If that is you today. Ledabakaturushataya. And you're saying, Lord, thank you for this word. Thank you. Thank you. I am rejuvenated. I am refreshed. I have my color in the name of Jesus Christ. I am irrigated. I am like a tree planted. Hallelujah. The heat of life will not get the best of me. In the name of Jesus. Come on, let's pray together this morning. If that's you saying, Lord, help me. And thank you. Thank you for your word. Because it is living and active sharper than any two-edged sword. The Bible says the word of the Lord never falls to the ground. He performs his word. That which he sends it out to do, he accomplishes it by his word in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. I declare over you this morning. Won't you pray with me?
I want you to pray this me, with me this morning in Jesus' name. But I want you to pray in tongues on the other side. Lebradiastu. Father, I pray for every person watching right now in the name of Jesus. I commit them to you. I bless them. I speak life over their situation. I come against hopelessness. I come against discouragement. I come against anxiety. I come against the spirit of oppression. I come against the spirit of depression. I come against the spirit, even the spirit of suicide. I come against it in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you this morning that you divinely intervene in the lives of your people. You will deliver them from the snare of the fowler in Jesus' mighty name. The Bible says, our souls have escaped like a bird. Oh, hallelujah. The snare is broken. Father, thank you for breaking every snare of the devil upon your people this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you that you are doing a new thing. You are bringing color into our lives. You are bringing enthusiasm. You are bringing faith into our lives. You are bringing hope into our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bless you this morning, O oh God, that you are turning around what the enemy has intended for evil. Father, towards your people, turn it around for they are good. What the enemy meant for evil, O oh God, turn it around in Jesus' mighty name. Turn their mourning into dancing this morning. As your word declares, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare the joy of the Lord over your life, that it shall be your strength this morning in Jesus' mighty name. David says, my steps were almost gone. But I pray this morning that God will straighten you up this morning, that God will strengthen you in Jesus' mighty name. You will have hope for tomorrow, hope for the future in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, hallelujah. Glory be to God this morning. I feel it in Jesus' mighty name. Patricia says, thank you, Jesus. Pastor Pumlani, I see those hands, my dear brother, Maloba, man of God. He says, Amen. Nolusundiso, oh yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. What a powerful time in the presence of the Lord, sitting out here in the garden. Glory be to God. I thank God for his word this morning. I thank God for his presence this morning. I thank God for speaking into your situation this morning. I thank God for speaking into your 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 your, your circumstance this morning in the name of Jesus. Uh brother Frank all the way from Cyprus. I want to I want to invite you you know, I know you are joining us for the very first time today, but um, we are live every morning, 6 to 7 a.m. on this platform, Facebook Live. Join us, Frank. I hope that you are blessed this morning. Uh, Anna, as well as uh, many out in Alberton, Johannesburg, I hope that you are blessed by this word this morning. We love you. We bless you. Fifi Sali, Patricia, Maria, all of you, Prudence, Messi, Mukwena. We love all of you watching this morning. But before we go this morning, I'm going to ask my daughter, Sandra, this morning quickly, uh, 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 um, just to help us this morning, Sandra. It's Friday. And I believe this is nothing new on this platform this morning. We want to ask you, people of God, to partner with us once a week, only on Friday. That's, that's just, you know, the way that God uh, spoke to me and Pastor Pinky, you know, concerning uh, finances and offerings. Uh, uh, we are asking you once a week, partner with this ministry, the online ministry. Hallelujah. Patricia says, we love you too, Pastor. Thank you so much there, Patricia. The Lord bless you, my beloved sister. Partner with us once a week on Friday. There's a lot we want to do for the kingdom of God. Most of you came to our new campus uh, right here at the Veld. That's where I'm sitting right now. I am at Veld Beers Hook. I'm looking at the church building right in front of me. So I'm saying to you, those who, who were here last Sunday as we planted this church, you saw what the building looks like. We thank God for what he has done thus far. But there's many other things that we want to do for the Lord here on this property. 
partner with us. I'm going to ask Sandra to drop the banking details of the ministry right now on the screen. If the Lord speaks to you, please do so as the Lord uh, 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 leads you this morning. The Bible says, uh, uh, give as you have purposed in your heart. For God loves a cheerful giver whose heart in his giving. Hallelujah. We need your financial assistance this morning. I'm not going to be shy about it. As a church, we need your financial assistance. There is a great need. There's a great need for things that we want to accomplish for the Lord, things we want to do for the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. For instance, we are still believing God. For instance, we are believing God for 5,000 flyers. We want to print 5,000 flyers because we are situated around Hartebias Port, around Bretz, around Pretoria North, around Harankua. We want to infiltrate and penetrate those areas with the gospel. Will you help us? Will you help us to sow so that we can print those flyers and go evangelize in those areas? Hallelujah. Glory be to God this morning. Everybody's sowing. And those who do not have money this morning, we pray for you too, because that's what we do all the time. Tatemu I see you. God bless you. I want to pray for you. Those sowing, even those who do not have money, you are included in this prayer. We are trusting God to release a seed in your life so that you can be able to sow if that is your desire. You're saying, God, I, I want to be of assistance to this ministry. We're going to pray with you too in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I pray for every giver this morning in Jesus' mighty name. Every person giving, even those that do not have the money, Father, we include them in this prayer. We speak your blessing over them, that you will release that financial seed, that you will bless them. Those that do not have em uh, work, employment, I declare that they shall be employed in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, those whose businesses are not doing well, we pray for them that you will prosper their businesses. You will cause them to succeed in the mighty name of Jesus. Therefore, as they sow the seed this morning, may that seed fall on fertile ground. May it produce a bountiful harvest in their lives, in every area of their lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody comment, Amen, once again in Jesus' mighty name. And then lastly, on the 8th of October, we are having the men's conference, 8th October, right here on the plot, 8th October. We've got powerful speakers coming. So, ladies, invite your husbands, invite your cousins, invite all the men that you know in your life, hallelujah, to come to the Way campus right here at the Veld. Come, we are having the men's conference in Jesus mighty name we have apostle Asanda Jagavula coming a powerful man of God he has visited our ministry before most of you know who he is most of you experience the ministry of um, apostle Asanda Patricia says my husband will definitely attend we would we would really appreciate that our sister uh, Patricia come on all the ladies watching many come all the way from Johannesburg Lubabalo come uh, in Jesus name uh, 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 Marius out in Jeffreys Bay come I've got plenty of room for you in my house Marius come you can come and sleep in pastor's house in Jesus name but I want to really encourage you come to the men's conference all the men ladies do your part invite all the men Apostle Asanda is coming we have uh, Pastor Harry coming we have my beloved friend and brother in the kingdom evangelist uh, uh, BP Mojella is going to be fire, fire, fire. Men, do not miss out. We are looking forward to seeing every single one of you right here on the 8th of October 2022. This coming Sunday, don't miss out. Montana, we have new service times. Intercession starts at 8.30. 9.30, we start with the service. Don't be late. It's no longer 10. It is 9.30. We're looking forward to seeing you in the house of the Lord right here at the Velt. Velda Beers Hook campus, we will start at 10.30 with intercession. And then at 11, we start with the worship service. Come on, we're taking territory for the kingdom of God. I would like you to just pray for me and Pastor Pinky. Pray for us as we are doing the work of the kingdom. We need your prayer. We need your support in prayer. Please do pray for us. We really need the strength to continue to do the work 
of God. It is your prayer, your love, and your support that keeps us going for the kingdom of God. Can I urge you once more? Please do pray for us. We are in need of your prayers, beloved, beloved brothers and sisters. With that said, we've come to the end of the stream here today. We love you. We bless you. We will see you Sunday in the house of the Lord. And of course, on this platform, Monday morning, 6 a.m. Well, from myself, your favorite evangelist, Misty I. Feel it now, together with the beautiful African queen behind the scenes this morning. We love you. We bless you. Spot you. Mwah.